So it is almost the witching hour in many local neighborhoods where children have been waiting, some not very patiently, to go <laughs> trick-or-treating. Here with some advice is Dr. Erica Lee, a psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital. Uh, happy Halloween and nice to see you, Dr. Hey, Dr. Lee. Thanks for your time. So let, let's talk about the kids right now. And what are some ways that parents can introduce them to Halloween traditions without it becoming too scary? I mean, it, it can be overwhelming. It absolutely can be. So happy Halloween to both of you. Uh, so for our little ones, it can be really confusing why everyone's sort of dressing up and wearing costumes and masks at night. Um, that can be really confusing for little ones. So give your kids a sense of what this holiday is all about before they go out and then decide together what makes sense in terms of celebration for your family. So for example, some little ones might want to do lower key activities. Let's mm -hmm. carve a pumpkin at home, or maybe we even dress up or we watch, we read a Halloween book, but we don't actually go outside or we stay away from scary movies. And we definitely don't go anywhere where there's more elaborate decorations. And if you decide to take your little one trick or treating, give them a sense that they're going to expect that people and homes are going to be dressed up in different ways. And that's part of the fun. If they see something that's scary, just reassure them, let them know it's all pretend. And this is all part of the holiday. Yep, as simple as right, that. Right. Um, when I was walking in, I saw Chris. We work with Chris, and he. I said, oh, what are the kids going to be for Halloween this year? And he showed me his his son, his older son, and then the younger one, I think he's five. He said, well, he wanted to be this, and then all of a sudden he, he saw the shark costume from last year and said, I need to be this shark. Right, so he right. showed me a picture of it, and it's a little small on his son, but they said, okay, that's fine. Go ahead, you be the shark. That's the right thing to do, yes or no, doctor? Absolutely. I love the idea of what we just described with Chris is that we want to be flexible, right? Because sometimes Halloween sounds better in one sort of plan than another. And we don't really know. Kids change their minds all of the time. They're really good at pulling these last minute tricks on parents. The whole point for kids participating in Halloween is to go out, have fun, obviously get a ton of candy and to express themselves to their costume. So help them decide how do you want to do this? Give them some options, help them problem solve. If they change their mind at the last minute, that's OK. How can we still make it fun and enjoy the evening together? Uh, Dr. Lee, I'm not sure that there, there is a hard and steadfast rule, but how old is too old to go out trick or treating? No, I like that. Are you asking for, for yourself? No, this, this is just this is just research. I'm just doing research here. <laughs> Because we oh, do have a, a couple of question. hours between shows that we can actually walk out. You know what I mean? So Yes, yeah. absolutely. Listen, you can be very young at heart and still want to go out and get candy, and that's okay, Ed. Um, so I think this really <laughs> depends on your teenager and also where you live. So I have heard that there are towns where there are actually ordinances or there are rules that say if you're above a certain age, they really discourage trick-or-treating. It's probably just to keep the younger ones kind of safe and maybe keep things a little bit calmer around town. But I do think it's important to remember that a child's chronological age does not necessarily match their developmental age. So there are kids who may technically be teenagers, but they may actually appear or act older or younger than that. And not all kids have the same sort of interests and goals around Halloween. So talk with your kids, right? Is the goal that they want to go out and do something fun with their friends? Is it that they want to dress up? Is it just that they want to have candy? You know, my general rule is I say that as long as they're not breaking any town rules and as long as they're being appropriate, so, you know, they're not pushing the little kids out of the way right, to get right. to the candy, I think it's okay to let them right. enjoy this little part of being young a little bit longer. She gave me permission. No, Great. she did Thank not. You, <laughs> no, she did not. Thanks, you. You're a little too I old then. Okay. You. <laughs> Thank you, doctor.